Today we will be going through Dexel Mathematics B Paper 1 4MB101 Jan 2020. Question number 1 Write this number in standard form. Standard form you know is after first non zero decimal number so we will shift 0 after 3 so it will be 3.15 into 10 raised to power how many jumps we are taking jumps we are taking are 1 2 3 4 so and right so right jumps are always minus uh, left side jumping is always plus so this will be our ans answer for this one and this is the place to write answer so we'll write answer over here now question number two the bearing of village a from village b is 124 find the bearing of village b from village a so we can consider two um, villages like we can draw a diagram easily this will be uh, like we'll have to basically take the village a and b so what we will do we can take village b over here this is village b and village a is on the bearing of 124 so say this is our north over here now we can draw bearing of 124 we will rotate the page and we can draw we can place here zero line we can adjust and this will be bearing of 100 and 10 20 and this will be 124 so now we can draw 124 line this will be from b to passing through this point and we can draw this line over here and under the bearing of uh, village A from B is 124 so this is 124 degrees find the bearing of B so it can be anywhere for example this is uh, A so this is A now we can draw this north will be like over here so north will be this one and we have to check this whole bearing this one so we can see up to this one is what we can see extend this line so this will be 180 degree this one and this bearing up to this one is same as 124 so we can write simply this is a diagram is for your explanation so we can write 180 degrees plus this is 180 degree plus 124 and this will be resulting to 180 plus 124 one, 180 plus 124 is resulting to 304 so this will be 304 degrees three zero four degrees this is done now question number three they have provided drawing which is not to scale and they are saying a b c a b c and d e f are parallel state lines b g e h b b g and e h e h uh, e h this one is a state line so this is basically g b e h is a state line angle a b e a b e is 135 and angle f e h is p find the value of p so this angle we can basically understand this is 135 so this will be remaining angle this is state line so this will be 180 degree minus 135 degree and this will be equal to 
180 minus 135 is equal to 45 degrees this will be 45 degrees and this angle will be equal to this angle so this will also be 45 degrees we can reach from this side or we can reach from this side this is 135 this angle will also be 135 and this will be 180 minus 45 so we can reach from this side or from this side but the angle this one is 145 and our answer will be 145 uh, only sorry 45 degree over here then uh, question number four without using calculator and showing all your working work out this one so without calculator I mean you have to show all our working so this will be 8 into 1 will be 8 plus 7 will be 15 so 15 over 8 and multiply by this will be 5 to the 10 10 3 10 3 is a 30 so this will be 30 over 5 now we can cancel this 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 and this will be equal to this will be equal to this will be 5 2 are 10 10 plus 3 will be 13 here not uh, 130 so we have rectified this so 3 into 13 will be 39 over 8 and 39 over 8 we can check 39 divided by 8 is in mixed fraction as 4 whole 7 by 8. This is equal to 4 whole 7 over 8. Answer will be 4 whole 7 over 8. This final answer for question number 4. Now we can move to question number 5. Question number 5 is uh, sets question. They are saying uh, even number between universal set is even number from 1 to 29. So, if we write even numbers from 1 to 29, this will be equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 28 so up to 28 we have taken these numbers so this is our universal set then a is a prime number set so we can write a will be prime numbers uh, so prime numbers will be so we can write prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 we have to write prime numbers of this one from here uh, so set of prime prime numbers will be all set of prime numbers uh, so prime numbers we can uh, take it as so on then we can write b factor of 24 because this is prime number so it's not uh, um, specifying that uh, prime numbers of uh, this one only basically we it we will have to take up to 29 so we can take 11 then 13 17 and next will be 19 so we can take 19 and 23 and 29 and then uh, factors of 24 factors of 24 will be 1 2 3 and 4 6 8 12 and 24 these will be the factors then we have to find b complement b complement mean from universal set we will have to exclude these numbers and the rest of the numbers will be our answer the remaining will be 1 is gone uh, 2 2 is not in this one so we will write it as 10 will be is not there in B and it's there in this one and 12 14 so 14 we can write over here 16 we can write over here 
then 18 we can write 2022 20, also is com included in complement 26 and 28 26 and 28 these will be the set <coughs> this will be our answer basically we have taken the numbers from this set which are not included in this one then a intersection b a intersection b will be uh, common between these two sets common between these two sets if we check um, two uh, two is common in both two is in this one as well as in this one so and three is also so two and three are common in these two sets so our answer will be two and three over here then question number six here is the question here are 12 most recent batting scores of the cricketer find the median of these uh, 12 scores so first of all we have to arrange the numbers so to arrange the numbers the smallest will be first so smallest is three so we will write here three and then next number is six over here so six we can arrange then it will be 11 so 11 will be here then 18 we can shift over here so we are arranging in ascending order after 18 it will be 23 at proper place then after 23 it will be uh, 26 20, after 26 it will be the number which is uh, 45 23 also we have basically written so 23 and 23 will be two times 23 23 then it will be 26 and then after that it will be 45 then two times 56 so 56 and 56 and next will be uh, 78 78 and last number will be 87 the largest number will be this one now after arranging this one we can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so middle 2 we will be taking because these are even numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 so these two are in the middle 2 and the um, median number will be they are saying um, find the median of these two 12 scores so for median in case of even numbers 23 plus 26 divided by 2 will add these two and divide by 2 so this will be median of this one which is uh, 49 over 2 and 49 49 divided by 2 will be equal to 24.5 so we can write here 24.5 our answer will be 24.5 this is done now next question number seven the nth term of a sequence is given by 2 minus 5 n this is the general formula and for nth term write down the third fourth and fifth terms of the sequence so third term we will replace n is equal to 3 so n is equal to 3 this implies 2 minus 5 into 3 this will be 15 so 2 minus 15 will be minus 13 so we can write here minus 13 and we will replace n is equal to 4 and this will this implies 2 minus 5 into 4 this will be equal to 2 minus 20 and 2 minus 20 will be 8 minus 18 so this will be minus 18 for the fifth term n is equal to 5 this implies 2 minus 5 into 5 this will be 2 minus 25 will be equal to minus 23 so our answer will be minus 23 this is done now question number 8 express 42 minutes as a percentage of 5 this is a three marks question so 
basically the easiest method for solving this type of question is we can use calculator for that one and this will be like uh, 42 minutes so we can write for zero hours and 42 minutes and divided uh, this will be over percentage of five so we can write here five percent uh, five and hours basically this will be five hours and percentage this one so and this will be equal to 14 percent so we can write as uh, this will be our answer 14 percent but the thing is that we require the working also because this will be three mark question so direct writing answer will not be appropriate so you can copy this one uh, so 42 you can write here 42 minutes divided by 5 hours and this will be into percentage percentage mean 100 so you can write here 100 or further you can, what you can write you can change this this is for your working basically you can change this one as 42 minutes and this one 5 hours you can change into minutes which is 300 minutes and this one this will be resulting to 14 uh, percent i have rectified answer basically this step will be sufficient for this one you can write over here no need of this one then question number nine here is a number line and number line is provided showed on the number line inequality minus three you can see this is less than uh, equal to is included so x is greater than equal to minus three so we will reach over here so i will use pencil for this one so we'll reach over here and draw a circle like this one and this should be filled one because this is uh, equal to and less than four so we will reach over here and keep it uh, blank from the inside and this will be the symbol which we can show and then they're saying write down the integer values of x from minus 3 to 4 from minus 3 to 4 what are those integers integers will be minus 3 so minus 3 then minus 2 minus 1 0 uh, 1 also we have to include so 0 1 and 2 and last one will be 3 so these will be the number I'll rewrite over here so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 4 we cannot include this will be our final answer for this question question number 10 is matrices question a and b are provided we have to find a plus b so we can write a plus b will be equal to a will be this one 2 4 minus 3 and 1 and plus b will be 5 4 0 and minus 2 we'll have to just add them in respective numbers so 2 plus 5 and this will be 4 plus 4 over here and this will be minus 3 plus 0 and 1 minus 2 and the final answer will be 7 and 8 and minus 3 and minus 1 so we can write here 7 8 minus 3 and this will be minus 1 this will be our final answer for this question then we have to find 2a minus 4b so we'll multiply with 2 a will be this one so 2 4 minus 3 and 1 this will be a minus 4 b will be 5 0 and 4 and minus 2 and this is our question now we can multiply this with 2 so it will be 4 8 minus 6 and 2 and minus we will multiply by 4 so this will be 20 16 0 and minus 8 and after that we'll have to just subtract 4 minus 20 minus 6 minus 0 this minus this so 8 minus 16 2 minus minus 8 will be 2 plus 8 so this one will be equal to this will be minus 16 
and this one will be minus 8 and this will be minus 6 and this will be 10. This will be our final answer for this part. So we can copy over here. Uh, minus 6 and minus 8 and 10. This one is the final. Question number 11. Express as single fraction in its simplest form. Simplest form we have to express. So we can take I'll make a line LC method so this and this we will copy over here 3 minus 2x into this one 2 plus 5x now this multiply by this so 5 into 2 plus 5x and this copy the sign in this case it's minus this multiply by this will be 2 into 3 minus 2x and this will be we can open the numerator so 5 into 2 will be 10 plus this will be 25x minus 6 and plus 4x and divided by we can write the same 3 minus 2x and this will be 2 plus 5x and now we can simplify the numerator and this will be 25 plus 4 will be 29 so we can write here 29x and this will be 10 minus uh, 6 will be 4 plus 4 and we can write here 3 minus 2x as it is and 2 plus 5x also as it is. This will be in single fraction answer place they have provided at the end of the page. So we will copy our answer over here 29x plus 4 divided by 3 minus 2x and 2 plus 5 x over here this will be final answer now we can move question number 12 given that for all values of x this equation is provided where q of x is a quadratic expression in x find the positive value of k so we can take left hand side and this will be 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus 12x plus 11 now we can uh, basically we can take the balance we can take the both sides instead of taking left hand side we can take the other side as well so 2x plus k and this will be qx and plus 11 and 11 we can cancel from both sides and this equation will reduce to 4x cube minus 8x square minus 12x is equal to 2x plus k and qx q of x so q of x like this now what we can do we can take 2x common from these all so we can take right rewrite this left hand side this will be 2x squared minus 4x and minus this will be 6 and this will be same so 2x plus k into q of x and this one we can uh, factorize the inner portion and we can write 2x and factorization of this one will be 2x plus 3 we can check with the calculator also mode 5 3 and coefficient of x square is 2 mm, x coefficient of x is minus 4 and constant is minus 6 so minus 6 and values will be 3 and minus 1 so we can uh, factorize this one basically manually if we factorize this will be 2x plus 2 and x minus 3 x minus 3 so these will be the factors of this one if we open we'll get uh, 2x squared and this into this will be minus 6x and this will be plus 2x and this into this will be minus 6. So this is factorization. After that we can uh, multiply basically this with this one. So we can rewrite this as it is and this will be 2x squared minus 6x and now we can uh, we can compare this side. This side is really 2x plus k is qx q of x and this is 2x plus k 
and q of x. q of x is this is this one quadratic expression and this one is equal to this one. So we can compare this and we can see k is equal to 2. k is equal to 2. This is k value and this is 2. So we can compare it. k is equal to 2 which is positive value of 2. So we can write answer at the proper location over here which is 2. This will be our final answer. Question number 13. Simplify this algebraic uh, fraction is provided so we can take separate powers of uh, the numerator. So 3 cubed x raised to 2 whole raised to 3 y raised to 3 whole raised to 3 and divided by this will be 9xy squared and this one we can write 3 cube will be 27 and x raised to the power 6 and this will be y raised to the power 9 and this one will be 9xy squared so this will be cancelled this will be 3 and we can write 3x raised to 6 and minus this one 1 so we can take this x above as numerator so y raised to 9 minus 2 so our final answer will be 3x raised to 5, y raised to the power 7. So 3x raised to 5, y raised to the power 7. This will be the answer. Then question number 14, solve the simultaneous equation. And this is simultaneous equation which is provided. So we can equalize the coefficients of y. We will multiply this equation by 9 and this equation by 2 and our new equations will be this will be changing to 27x plus 18y is equal to 72 and this equation will modify to minus 8x and plus 18y is equal to 44. Now we can subtract changing signs. This will be plus, this will be minus and minus. So these two will be cancelled and this will be 27 plus 8 will be 35x is equal to 72 minus 44. 72 minus 44 will be equal to 28. So this will be 28. Now x value will be equal to 28 over 35 and this will be 7, 4s are 28, 7, 5s are so 4 by 5, uh, 4 by 5 or we can write 4 divided by 5 or we can write in decimal 0 0.8. So this value will be 0 0.8. Now we can find value of y in replace x value we will replace in any of these two equations i will replace in first one so this will be 3 into 0 0.8 plus 2y is equal to 8 and this will be 2y will be equal to 8 minus 3 into 0 0.8 and this can be simplified with the help of calculator so 8 minus 3 into 0 0.8 and this will be equal to uh, 5.6 so this will be 5.6 so y will be equal to 5.6 divided by 2 so this one 5.6 divided by 2 will be resulting to 2.8 so our answer will be 2.8 x value is 0 0.8 and y value is 2.8 these are the Two values which we found for this. Now question number 15 a diagram is provided which is not accurately drawn this is the region R this is equation y is equal to 5 plus x and this is also equation is provided the diagram shows the shaded region R which is bounded by three straight lines one of which is parallel to y axis so parallel to y axis is uh, this one one vertex of r lies on x axis uh, so this vertex is on x axis find three inequalities that define r so first one we can uh, write 
and this is uh, equation which is uh, x is this point first we have to find basically this point and to find this point we know this point lies on this line so we will replace x is equal to y is equal to 0 in this one uh, in, in this line not this line this line is this one so not this one this line so in this line y is equal to 0 if we replace y is equal to 0 in this equation y is equal to 6 minus 2x so this will be 0 and 2x will be equal to 6 so x will be equal to 3 so our coordinates for this point will be 3 and 0 now we got this vertex after getting this vertex we can write the equation so for this line because this is the line and we require lesser this portion so this line is x is less than equal to 3 so we will write here x is less than equal to 3 and this will be for this line which i'm showing now the second line this is our first line second line we can show y is see this line y is equal to 5 plus x but we require lesser portion so we write y is less than equal to 5 plus x so this is the required region and the third line which we can show is this one y is greater than above portion is required so this one we will write y is greater than equal to 6 minus 2x and this is done and we have to write these answers over here at the proper location x is less than equal to 3 uh, y is uh, less than equal to 5 plus x and y is greater than equal to 6 minus 2x these will be our final answer for this Question. question number 16 a model of a ship is made by made to a scale of 3 ratio 400 the surface area of the model is this one calculate in meters square the surface area of the ship so we can check for the k which is conversion ratio and ratio is 400 divided by 3 this is the conversion ratio of this uh, provided ratio and this is for length we can convert for surface area for area always we are taking k square and k square will be equal to 400 over 3 whole square so we'll be using this so area required area of the ship so we can write area of of uh, the ship of uh, basically surface area surface area of the ship this will be equal to this one seven two double zero and this will be multiplied by this one scale factor 400 over 3 whole square and keep in mind this will be in centimeter square and if we just simplify this 7200 into fraction 400 and divided by 3 and whole squared and this will be resulting to this one i will copy here 128 i will show you calculator as well so 128 and one two three four five six zeros so we can write one two three four five six zeros now this is this is our answer which is in centimeter square but we need in meter square so centimeter square means centimeter into centimeter so to change into cent uh, into meters we will divide this by 100 so to change this centimeter into meter now this is meter and this also 
we will divide it by 100 and now this is meter so this is how we can simply uh, uh, cancel this 2 2 4 so 2 and 2 4 and this will be 1 2 8 double 0 this will be meters square this will be final answer for this question and we can provide answer over here it will be one two eight double zero meter square this is done now question number 17 diagram is provided for this ac not accurately drawn and this is uh, if you go through the question the diagram shows triangle a b d a b d and triangle b c d b c d such that a b is equal to a b is equal to 6.5 a d is equal to 2.5 and b c is equal to 4.2 angle c b d is equal to c b d is equal to 35 and angle a d a d b is 90 degree this one is 90 degree calculate the area uh, in centimeter square so all the measurements are in centimeters so no issues uh, two three significant figures of uh, uh, the quadrilateral uh, a b c d so a b c d now what we will do first of all uh, we will we will find area of uh, this triangle we can shade this hopefully you are understanding each and everything subscribe Maths TV also and press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos and this will be basically the shaded triangle for which we will find the area first and this will be to find this area we will find this height BD first BD height or DB so we can calculate this 6.6.5 squared hypotenuse square Pythagoras theorem we are applying this square is equal to um, BD square which is which we can take as X or H we can take this as H so H squared and plus 2.5 2.5 squared so H squared will be equal to 6.5 squared minus 2.5 squared and this one we can calculate this will be 6.5 squared and minus 2.5 squared and this will be equal to this one 36 and h squared will be equal to 36 this implies h will be equal to 6 so h is 6 so this is 6 now after calculating this we can apply the formula the, the formula which we have applied over here is Pythagoras the formula Hypo, uh, this is basically hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square Pythagoras the formula we have applied now we are applying the area of a triangle formula so area is equal to 1 by 2 into uh, base into height half into b into h this will be area of the triangle and now we can um, write area is equal to area of uh, triangle ABD ABD this one area of this will be equal to 1 by 2 into base which is 2.5 and height which is 6 so this will be equal to we can calculate this this will be 0 0.5 into 2.5 into 6 and this is resulting to 7.5 so this will be 7.5 centimeter square now after that area of this B uh, BCD triangle we can find and we will be using formula for that one area for triangle this is also area of triangle area of triangle is equal to half into a b sin c a b sin c we will be using this formula because we have two sides and they are included angle so we can write uh, area of triangle b c d b c d is equal to half into a b 6 into 
4.2 into sine of given angle which is 35. Now we can calculate this. So we will move the page a little above so that you can see properly over here. And this will be 0 0.5 into 6 into 4.2 into sine of 35 degrees. This is in radian mode. So first I'll have to change the radian mode. So shift mode degrees this one. Okay, now we will calculate this will be 7.2270. So we can write here 7.2270. And this will be area of uh, BCD. Now we found area of both the triangles. Now we can write area of uh, area of uh, ABCD. ABCD. This will be equal to. We'll be adding these two areas. So 7.5 plus 7.2270, and we can in this one. In this one, we can add 7.5, so plus 7.5 will be equal to 14.7270, 14.7270, 14 and we can provide an answer as 14.7, because we have to provide up to three significant figures, so 14.7 will be uh, centimeter square basically. So it's already written over here. Now question number 18. Uh, P vector is provided, Q vector is provided, the vector P and Q are such that mod of this one is equal to mod of this. Given that X is less than 0, find the value of uh, X. So uh, we can take mod of P. So P mod will be equal to this square plus this square, so x square plus 2x minus 1 squared, and this will be under root. This is how we are taking mod, and we can open this one. Uh, Q is equal to, and they are saying this is equal to this mod, and we will write mod of this one will be equal to minus 9 squared, and plus 5 square which is equal to q mod. So basically we have written p mod is equal to q mod and then we have taken these values and taken their mod and now we can cancel these uh, roots and we can write our equation x square and plus 2x minus 1 whole square is equal to minus 9 squared means uh, 81 so and plus this will be 25 and this will be equal to 81 plus this will be 106 now we can open this square as well so this will be x squared plus this one will be 4x squared a squared 4x squared plus 1 squared so 1 and 2 into a into b will be um, minus 4x the formula which we have used over here is a, a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and this will be the formula you can go through or if you are facing difficulty you can write 2x minus 1 multiply by 2x minus 1 and multiply both terms you will get you will get the same answer so is equal to 106 and this one we can shift to this side so it will be 5x squared this one and this one will combine 5x squared minus this 4x and this will be shifted to this side so minus 106 plus 1 is equal to 0 so our equation will be 5x squared and minus 4x minus 105 is equal to 0. This is 4 mark question. Now we'll have to find the positive value of x. So we will be checking for factorization. So we can check for factorization mode 5, 3. And coefficient of x square is 5. Coefficient of x is minus 4 and constant value is 
minus 105 and we can check the numbers one is 5 the other one is minus 21 over 5 now we can write the terms uh, we can write the factor basically this will be x and change sign of this one so minus 5 and the other will be 5x and plus 21 with change sign and equal to 0. If you multiply this with this you will get 5x square multiply this with this you will get 21x and multiply this with this you will get 25x so 25 will be minus so you will get minus 4x and multiply this with this you will get minus 105 so this is how you can write or if you want we can write one step here x and then 5x this one 5x plus 21 and minus 5 into 5x plus 21 to show your working this is basically not required but show to show your work then you can we can write here x minus 5 is equal to 0 and 5x plus 21 is equal to 0 so 5x will be equal to minus 21 x will be equal to minus 21 over 5 and this will be equal to x is equal to 5 so this is a negative value so we will reject this one and we will accept this value so we will write x is equal to 5 this will be our positive value for this question is it done now question number 19 it's a sector diagram is not accurately drawn boc boc is a sector of circle center o with angle boc is equal to 30 and the sector aod a o d this one smaller one of the circle center so such that this is a straight line odc odc and oab are the straight line is uh, is removed from the sector boc so this smaller one is removed from the bigger one to form a region s so this shaded region s is formed uh, shown shaded in the diagram given that oa is equal to oa is equal to ab uh, and that the perimeter of s is 10 10 meters so perimeter of s is uh, 10 meters calculate giving your answer in terms of pi the length in meters of AB so AB length is required this length is basically required but we have to provide answer in terms of pi so the f we can uh, we can take this one like for example we can take this O a as x and we know oa is equal to ab this one also we can take as x so od will be same size so this will be x and this one also will be x now uh, this will be we can find this bc length and for that one we will be using length formula and length formula is what l is equal to theta over 360 into 2 pi r this will be the length formula and we will be using this for this a b b c length so we can replace here theta is 30 over this is 30 so over 360 and multiply by 2 pi into r if we check our r radius is x plus x so we can write here 2 x so uh, this will be simplified to uh, if we simplify this so we can mod 1 so this will be 30 divided by 360 I'm simplifying only this and multiply by 4 so this will be multiply by 4 this will be equal to 1 by 3 and so it will be pi by 3 into x so if you simplify this we will get this one now we have this is what the length this one is pi o by 3x pi over 3x now we have all the lengths so perimeter we can find and to check perimeter 
we can write parameter is equal to this will be 2x 2x plus this will be pi by 3x and this 2x so plus 2x and it is given that this 10 meters so this is equal to 10 now we can further simplify we can take this uh, we can add these two this two will be 4x and plus pi by 3x is equal to 10 we can take x common so inside will be 4 plus pi by 3 and this is equal to 10 I'll move the page over here this one so this will be x will be equal to 10 over 4 plus pi over 3 and this one we can as we have to provide answer in pi format so we will check whether calculator will be cooperating or not so pi over 3 and this is equal to basically it is giving in decimal so what we will do we can manually calculate this will be 10 over this will be we can take lcm of this this will be 12 plus pi over 3 this one and this 3 we can shift above so it will be 10 into 3 over 12 plus pi this will be and 10 into 3 will be 30 30 over 12 plus pi so this is answer for x which is in terms of pi and is in meters so this will be in meter so our answer will be 30 over 12 plus pi this will be our answer for this question number 20 the temperature t degree celsius at midday in the city was recorded each day for 50 days the table shows information about these temperatures the ranges for the temperature is provided and the number of days are also provided so formula which we will be using uh, we will have to find basically fx value and sigma fx over sigma f this will be for mean formula so in second part we have to find the mean uh, this one so we have written this formula we will be using this from this table we will be checking for the for the data uh, which will be using as f and x this will be f and we can calculate x x will be midpoint so midpoint will be x value and midpoint of these two will be 8 plus 5 divided by 2 so we can write 8 plus 5 and divided by 2 will be equal to 6.5 so this will be 6.5 similarly we can find for this also so it will be 8 plus 11 and divided by 2 will be equal to 9.5 9.5 if we calculate in the similar way this one you will get 12.5 i'm saving time so 15.5 and 18.5 you can use the same method for finding the midpoint of these then we will be checking for this is our f value and we can check for fx now we can write fx f into x will be at uh, not f of x f into x so f into x will be 6.5 into 3 so we can write 6.5 multiply by 3 this will be 9.5 multiplied by 12 this will be 12.5 multiplied by 14 this will be 15.5 multiplied by 17 uh, 16 this one and this will be this will not be 14 this will be 12 over here so this will be 18.5 multiplied by 6 and last will be 21.5 multiplied by 1 so we can write down the simplified calculation so 6.5 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 19.5 this will be 19.5 next calculation is 9.5 into 12 and this is resulting to 114 and next calculation is 12.5 multiplied by 12 
and this is 150, 150, and then it will be 15.5 and multiply by 16, this will be resulting to 248, 248, then 18.5 multiply by 16 will be resulting to uh, 18.5 multiply by 6 not 16 so this will be resulting to 111 and 21.5 multiply by 1 will be 21.5 after this one we can find sigma sigma fx sigma fx will be just adding these numbers 19.5 plus 114 plus 150 plus 248 plus triple one plus 21.5 and this will result into 664 this will be our so this is what we have calculated sigma fx for a part basically they are saying right on the model class for this one just we'll have to see for which class uh, frequency is maximum so we can see this is the maximum frequency for this class so this will be our model class we can write answer over here this will be 14 and less than t is less than equal to 17 t is greater than 14 less than equal to 17 now as we have done these calculations now it will be easier for b part we have to calculate mean temperature at midday in uh, this city during these 50 days so we can apply the same this one so mean will be equal to sigma fx which is 640 divided by sigma f which is f which is 50 so this is basically sigma f so we will divide it by 50 and we will get answer 664 divided by 50 this will be resulting to 13.28 13.28 and approximately equal to I'll move the page so this will be um, 13 degree Celsius this will be the final uh, answer because they are saying nearest degree Celsius so this will be 13 degree will be our final answer so the whole working for this one we have done over here and this is the part B is done question number 21 this is functions question the functions f and g are defined and f of x is equal to this g of this so we have to find the range for this one so range will be uh, g of x should be greater than equal to 0 and next will be uh, f of, uh, b part solve the equation f of x is equal to g of f of 2 we can write f of 2 for first of all f of 2 will be equal to we will replace here 2 3 into 2 minus 5 this will be equal to 6 minus 5 which is equal to 1 uh, not 1 this should be uh, uh, basically f of 2 so f of 2 will be this one 6 minus 5 so this will be 1 yeah this is correct so this is done then after this one we will find g of f of 2 and we know f of 2 is equal to 1 so we will find g of 1 and uh, g of 1 we can check from here so it will be 2 into 1 squared plus 1 so this will be 3 so answer to this one will be 3 uh, now they are saying f of x is equal to this is basically g of 1 means this is g of f of 2 so g of f of 2 2 we got 3 now we we know by this equation f of x is equal to g of f of 2 g of f of 2 which is equal to 3 and this f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 is equal to 3 3x is equal to 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8 and we can simplify x is equal to 8 by 3 and 8 by 3 means we can solve this 8 divided by 3 will be equal to 2.6 recurring 2.667 or we can write 2.67 so our answer 
at the proper place will be 2.67. Question number 22. We can go ahead with question number 22. Equation is provided. They are saying A is this one correct to two decimal places and B is this correct to two decimal places. C is correct to three decimal places. The upper bound of X and the lower bound of X are the same correct to N decimal places and calculate the value of X correct to N decimal places for the largest integer N you must show all your working and give your answer for your final on give your um, reason for the for, uh, final answer so we will be using this equation x is equal to this one and for upper bound we will check for upper bound for the maximum answer we require upper bound of a upper bound of a and this will be lower bound of b so higher value minus lower value this will result to higher value and divided by lower bound of c lower bound of c so we will be dividing by a lower number so we'll get maximum result of this one so we will replace you should, hopefully you understood this and now we will be replacing the uh, values this will be root of lower bound of a will be upper bound of a will be 8.8.455 this one and minus lower bound of b 1.9 1.925 this will be lower bound and divided by lower bound of c will be 3.415445 so plus minus uh, the according to decimal places we are adding and subtracting and we are getting this now this one we can calculate uh, by the help of calculator so this will be a root of fraction 8.455 minus 1.925 and divided by 3.4145 and this will give us 1.3818290782 i'm writing the whole calculator numbers now this is done for upper bound we can calculate for lower bound for lower bound we require lower bound of a lower bound of a smaller value of a and from smaller value we will be cal we will be subtracting higher value of b upper bound of b and it will be divided by also higher value upper bound of c so this is how we are checking this will be like this should be smaller value and we should take away a higher value and also we'll have to divide also with a higher value so that we, we will get the minimum answer lower bound will be the lower value now we will replace the lower uh, these bounds so this will be lower bound will be 8.445 and this will be upper bound 1.935 divided by this uh, upper bound will be 3.4155 rest is just calculation by the calculator and this will be fraction 8.445 minus 1.935 and divided by 3.4155 and this will be resulting to this value we will copy over here 1.38058 632 this will be the whole calculator number so we can we can write upper bound and lower bound if we check x value upper bound is equal to 1.38 up to uh, de uh, uh, two decimal places 2 dp we can write here up to 2 dp 1.38 and this one 
lower bound of x will be equal to again 1.38 at 2 dp so we can write here then uh, we can see both are matching at this one so we can write reason lower bound and upper bound of x of x are same are same which is 1.38 up to up to 2 dp decimal places so answer will be 1.38 this will be our final answer hopefully you understood this now question number 23 factorize completely this is very easy question two marks so we'll have to take maximum common we can take 5a common so inside will be 2 minus this will be 5 and b and this will be our final answer 5a into 2 minus 5b and then factorize for this one uh, we can use calculator mode 5 3 and this will be coefficient of x square is 1 and coefficient of x is minus 3 we will type here and press equal to it will take the value then constant value is minus 10 and press equal to this one after feeding the values we will press equal to we will get fine 5 so we will get 5 value and the second value again equal to this will be minus 2 now we will be using these values and we can write th this one as x opposite sign x minus 5 and this will be x plus 2 and we can write another step over here this x we can write over here and uh, into this one x plus 2 and this sign minus 5 into x plus 2 that's all these two steps are more than sufficient for this and we can write here x minus 5 and x plus 2 over here this is done then c part factorized completely and this expression is provided we can uh, we can basically take first two common so inside will be 25 x squared and minus this will be 36 y squared and after taking this common we got the squared number so we can write this one as 5x squared minus this will be 6y whole squared and now we know the formula that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so this will be the formula which we'll be using and applying on this and we'll get 2 into a which is 5x plus this plus b which is 6y and a 5x minus 6y according to this one we have written over here and this will be our final answer we can provide over here 5x plus 6y and 5x minus 6y hopefully you understood this question number 24 the equation of a curve c is this equation is provided where k is the constant the point A and C is a, a stationary point. Point A on C is a stationary point. Given that the x coordinate of A is this one, find the value of k. So there is this is the point. Like A is having the question is this is having x coordinate and the y coordinate we have to find. So y is equal to we can write this expression 2x minus 3 into kx plus 5 is divided by x and now we can open the numerator this will be 2kx 2kx and plus this will be 2 into 5 will be 10x so 10x and 3 minus 3 into this will be minus 3kx and this into this will be minus 15. Now this uh, denominator we can write separately for each one. So we can write x over here. And after writing this one, we can uh, cancel 
this one we can cancel this one we can cancel and this one as well we can cancel now our equation reduces to what 2k plus 10 minus 3k and minus 15 and over x which we can write x raised to a minus 1 now we can take derivative of this dy over dx because they are saying that stationary point stationary point is having gradient 0 so this will be equal to uh, we can write here 2k so 2k as it is basically we have done mistake this should be x squared when 2x will be multiplied by kx this should be x squared so one is cancelled and one will remain over here so when we take derivative of this one we'll get 2k and derivative of 10 will be 0 and derivative of this constant k is constant so this will be 0 and derivative of this one will be minus 15 and minus 1 we will pull and x raised for minus 1 minus 1 so we can write dy over dx i'll have to move the page also so that you can see properly okay over here this will be equal to 2k and the rest are zero so minus 1 into minus 1 will be plus and 5 x raised to a minus 2 which we can uh, write equal to 0 so it implies 2k uh, is equal to um, basically we can write 2k is equal to minus 5 x raised to the power minus 2 which we can write minus 5 over x squared now we can uh, write this equal to 0 which we have already written x value we have x value is provided over here which is 1 by 2 and this one we will replace so we write 2k is equal to minus 5 over 1 by 2 squared so k value will be equal to minus 5 minus 5 over uh, this 2 into 1 by 2 squared and this one we can calculate by the help of calculator so um, fraction minus 5 over 2 into fraction 1 over 2 and this will be whole squared and this will be equal to minus 10 again a small rectification this is 15 and we have written over here 5 so we'll have to write here 15 so this will be 15 and this one will be 15 so if we rectify this issue we will get answer as minus 30 so this will be minus 30 so we'll have to do carefully basically the calculation so minus 30 will be k value uh, which we have found so we can write here minus 30 this will be the value which we found now question number 25 the diagram is not accurately drawn in the diagram a b c d a b c d are points on the circle center o a b c is equal to 116 and o d c o d c is equal to 140 so these two values are given calculate giving reason the size in degrees of angle o a d o a and d basically this angle is required this much angle is required so we can find this angle uh, like uh, we know that this is uh, 100 and 16 so uh, this angle should be because this is cyclic quadrilateral a b c d is cyclic quadrilateral so these opposite angles this and this angle and this angle should add up to 180 degree so we can write this angle a d o so we can write angle a d o is equal to uh, 180 
this will be basically 180 minus 116 plus 40 degrees so how we reach to this one we can write reason for this and reason for this is uh, opposite angles of uh, opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so this will be the reason for this now uh, and we can calculate this angle this will be 180 minus 116 plus 40 this will be equal to 24 so this will be 24 so we can write this angle as 24 so the angle provided this one basically we calculated this is 24 degrees now if this is 24 so this OD is radius and OA is also radius so we can write that uh, angle opposite angles will be equal so this will also be 24 degrees so we can write angle uh, DA angle OAD OAD is equal to angle ADO ADO which is equal to 24 degrees and the reason for this one we can write opposite angles of of uh, equal sides equal sides this will be our reason one more thing if we can mention if we want we can mention over here because this is four mark question so we can add that OD is equal to OA OD is equal to OA and the reason for this is radii of same circle right so we can write reason radii of same circle so we have written the reasons also and we have provided the answer so i will move the page maybe now this one so basically this was the first step which we have uh, written over here this angle is 180 uh, adding up to 180 so 180 minus 40 and 116 24 then these two sides od is equal to oa big reason is radius of the same circle and oad oad is equal to ado and which is equal to 24 because opposite angles of the uh, same sides opposite angles of equal sides basically so answer will be over here at the proper location 24 degrees now b part calculate giving your reasons the size in degrees of angle a c d so a c d is where a c and d now what we can do we can find this angle which is over here so a o d this will be 180 minus 48 so we can write answer over here angle uh, AOD AOD is equal to uh, 180 degree minus 24 plus 24 which is equal to 180 minus 48 will be uh, 180 minus 48 will be equal to 132 so this angle is 132 and the reason for this one we will be uh, writing um, in angles of uh, angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so this will be reason for this and then next step we, we, we can write uh, this angle this angle is uh, 132 132 
so this angle will be uh, this is AOD is on this segment at the center and this angle is at the circumference so this will be half of this so 132 divided by 2 will be equal to 66 so this angle will be 66 degrees so we can write over here angle ACD angle ACD will be equal to angle AOD divided by 2 which is equal to uh, 106 uh, 132 132 divided by 2 which is equal to 66 degrees and the reason for this one we can write is angle at cent and angle at circumference angle at circum friends is half of the angle at center so this will be the reason for this one hopefully you understood this so our answer at the proper location will be 66 degrees question number 26 30 people traveled from london to Manchester for a conference of these um, of these people so 15 traveled by train 9 traveled by plane some traveled by both train and plane 12 did not travel by either train or plane so 3 people are chosen at random from these those who traveled uh, by plane so find the probability that exactly two of these people also travel um, by train so what we can do we can draw a venn diagram to understand this situation so for venn diagram we can take like for example for better explanation so we can draw a venn diagram like this one so our situation can be better understood over here this will be one circle this will be another circle and this will be third circle so this is uh, by train and this is by plane and this one is what this one is uh, train and plane basically we don't require this circle so i'm just erasing this one so we can have only two cir circles will serve our purpose so we don't require the third one so our diagram will reduce to cir two circles uh, only this one so they are saying 15 traveled by uh, some traveled by both train and plane so this area is train and plane so we don't know the number we can write x over here and this train is how much train is 12, 15 so this area will be 15 minus this value x and this is uh, plane so it's 9 so this will be 9 minus x because x are gone here and outside are 12 over here now we can write the equation and total are 30 which is provided over here at the start of the question so our equation will be what these all are adding up to 30 degree uh, sorry not 30 degree 30 people so this will be 12 which is this one and plus will be 9 minus x this one and plus x and plus this 15 minus x and this is equal to 30 we can open the bracket so 12 plus 9 minus x and plus x plus 15 minus x is equal to 30 now minus x plus x will be cancelled and 12 plus 9 plus 15 12 plus 9 plus 15 and this will be resulting to 36 so we can write here 36 minus x is equal to 30 we can shift to x to other side 
and this will be 36 minus 30 and which is equal to 6. So our answer will be the, the modified Venn diagram if we redraw to explain to, for your understanding. I'm just um, redrawing the same uh, Venn diagram. So this will be one circle, this will be the other one and this area is having 6, x value is 6, this will be 9 minus 6, it will be 3, this will be 15 minus 6 which is 9 and this will be 12, this will be ten, train, this will be plane and this is basically in the and they are saying find the probability. Now after drawing this, three people are chosen at random from those who travel by plane. So three people are chosen from this section plane mean total are nine in the plane section find the probability that exactly two of these people also travel by train so traveled by train uh, will be first probability will be six over nine and the second one will be five over eight because remaining will be eight and third one will be three over uh, remaining we can take 3 over 7, 3 over 7 and this probability we can calculate will be equal to 6, 6 into 5 into 3 which is equal to 90 over divided by 9 into 8 into 7 will be equal to 504 and our answer will be 90 over 504 or you can simplify it also question number 27 this is vector question diagram provided is not to scale and the diagram shows OAB OAB triangle OAB and a point D this is point D which is outside the triangle the point C lies on AB such that AC is equal to uh, 3CB. So this is important information. The point D is such that DB is equal to this one and where OA is 3A and OB is equal to 5B. Find the ratio of OC and CD. So what we can do, we can draw this uh, we can we can write this a b first so a b will be equal to um, a b we can write a b a b vector will be equal to if we want a b this side basically a b will be this side so we can take this root this and this so it will be minus 3 a plus 5 b so we can write here minus 3a plus 5b this will be our uh, ab now we can write oc uh, oc will be equal to if we want oc first of all i will join this d and this oc passing through c and this is done now oc will be from o to c we can take this root and OC will be equal to OA plus AC and AC is uh, 3 by 4 of this is th total are 4 portions. So this will be 3 by 4 and this will be 1 by 4. So 3 by 4 of what? A 3 by 4 of AB, AB is this so minus 3A plus B. 5b sorry 5b this one minus 3a plus 5b and this will be 1 by 4 of the same so to find oc we can write oc will be equal to ab ab vector plus ac vector now ab and ac we can write ac so a b will be a b a b will be this one 
and a c will be a b will be this one a b plus a c basically not a b it should be o a so it is o a i will rectify this so after rectification we can write o a is 3 a 3 a plus this will be a c which is this one so we will write here 3 by 4 of minus 3 a plus 5 b and now we can write c d as well and to write c d we know c d is equal to what c b plus b d if we join b d so that we can get the exact information which is this one so it will be c b plus b d and we can write over here uh, this is equal to c b plus b d c b plus b d so c b is 1 by 4 of this vector 1 by 4 of this one minus 3 plus 5 b and plus we can find b d to check for b d for b d we can take this root basically b d value is provided over here so this value we can copy for b d so 7 by 4 a plus 15 by 4 b and now we can simplify this and we can uh, open this uh, bracket and simplify now basically we require OC ratio CD so we can write here OC ratio CD and OC will be over here we have already calculated so we can write 3A plus 3 by 4 and just opening this multiplying with this. okay we can later on we can in next step we can open so I will just copy this and then a ratio of this one CD which is over here 1 by 4 into minus 3 uh, minus 3 and we missed over a here a so minus 3 a plus 5 b and plus 7 by 4 a plus 15 by uh, 4 b now we'll have to simplify both sides and ratio we will be checking so this will be 3 a minus this should be minus 3 into 3 will be 9 by 4 a and this into this will be plus 15 by 4 b and ratio will be multiplying this so minus 3 by 4 a and this into this will be plus 5 by 4 b and plus 7 by 4 a plus 15 by 4 b now we'll have to combine these a and b so 3 minus 9 by 4 3 minus 9 over 4 this will be resulting to 3 by 4 so this will be 3 by 4 a and plus this will be 15 by 4 b and this side will be reducing to a is this one and this one so we can write here minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 and plus 7 by plus 7 over 4 so this will be equal to 1 so we can write here a and b we can combine 5 by 4 and 15 by 4 so 5 over 4 plus 15 over 4 and this will be 5 so this will be plus 5b now we can take 3 by 4 common from here so this will be 3 by 4 of a plus uh, 5b and ratio this will be a plus 5b and we can see this is 3 by 4 ratio 1 this internal side this one is same so we can write 3 by 4 the ratio 1 so this will be our answer uh, oc will be 3 by 4 and cd will be 1 so we can write 3 by 4 uh, ratio 1 this will be our final answer 
to this question so we are done with the paper hopefully you understood each and everything uh, subscribe mass tv and press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos of uh, o level a level igcsc and different codes you can check from the playlist and also introduce this channel to your friends and class fellows and your teachers i will be waiting for your valuable comments thank you very much for watching take care bye